What is up guys? Welcome on back to another Copart walk around and today we're going to look at some more heavies, some semis, uh, we might even look at some bikes, some quads, uh, pretty much a good mixture of everything. Maybe even some ridiculously looking pickup trucks. So uh, it's bright as hell, the sun is directly in my face. Let's get into it. <laughs> The first thing I want to look at today is the Chevy 2500 Silverado, Silverado man, if I can talk English, um, Duramax 66 HD with the Allison transmission. Boy, boy, boy. Now, this one took some significant damage here on this side. You can see the whole fender, the fender well, all that is gone and destroyed. You can see that rim down here. It's kind of sitting off. All right. And as we get up here into the damage, you can see, you know, like the fuse box is hanging. It's not bolted on or nothing because it was all removed. They probably tried to fix it. And most of the parts, oh, actually, this is saving you some money right here. All of the parts and stuff were back here in the bed of the truck. So that is an automatic win. All right, let's take a look inside the cab. Nice leather seats. All right. Previous generation with this uh, dashboard and whatnot. Let's see what the mileage looks like on it and let's see if she'll actually fire up. It is listed as a start, but not a drive. That doesn't surprise me. Looking at that front. Let's see if she has enough juice to fire up though. She does turn on. Ooh, that battery looks a little low. Might be enough. Let's see. Fired right up. Sounds good, too. You guys can... Oh, you guys already got a good look at the dash here. There we go. You can see here, there's really no check lights. Fuel engine low, that's about it. Nothing crazy though. Let's see what she sounds like. Yeah, it's got a regular exhaust on it too. You can hear that turbo spool up though. Sounds good, what do you guys think? Four wheel drive. Let's take a look around the rest of the truck. I think it sounds good. I think it looks good. I mean, of course, outside of that ridiculous damage up here on the front. But I mean, outside of that, she looks like she's in pretty good shape. No? Hood would have to be replaced because it's banged out. But look, everything here on the front looks good. No damage here, right? Everything on this side looks good. It really would just be some suspension components on the other side. Um, so suspension components on that other side, that fender, you know, the, the structural piece that would go in here in that fender area. And I think a lot of that stuff, look, there's even other color stuff here. What is this, blue? from what they were going to fix it with another vehicle or it's the other cars oh it's the other vehicle's hood <laughs> whatever the other vehicle was that hit this it's in the it's in the bed but all the parts are back here you can see here all that inner fender well stuff is here so i don't know man that's a that's a pretty big beast of a truck right there with those fuel rims and stuff on it. I think you could probably, 
I think this one can be put back on the road. For sure. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Let's go on to the next one. All right, guys. Look at all the new quads and the side-by-sides and stuff over there, guys. Ooh. Ooh. I know you guys want to see those. We'll go see those here in a little bit, I promise. Fry Farms, huh? WD Transport. Is that Whistling Diesel Transport? <laughs> All right. Let's see if she got any juice. Nope. Dead as a door now. Don't need to waste my time. Ooh, look at this one. She rotted the exhaust right off. Boy, uh uh, Let's look around at some of this other stuff, guys. We got some boats out here. Wow, somebody getting it in. Look at this, you got some little bass boats out here. This bass boat got some Johnson, got a Johnson with some damn power. Progressive insurance. What did y'all do? Sink this one? Flip it? Oh, you crashed it. You can see the fiberglass is all cracked and busted right here. Up on the top. Same thing over on that side. You can see where it's broken. Maybe something fell on it, like a tree. That'd be my guess. And then they totaled it out. Luckily, they had boaters insurance, but look at that GT150, that old Johnson motor. Bet you that motor is just fine. Bet you anything that motor is just fine. You got fired. You got a toasty one over there. A toasty boat. Toasty! And it like melted the aluminum and bent that all back, destroyed that boat. Oof. She probably still floats, but... You're not going to do much with this. Well, I guess you could. Theoretically, you could probably put something across, you know, rebuild that transom. But nah, this one's covered. This one's all nice. I don't even know what the hell that is, but I bet you that goes for some money. I guess it had. Well, maybe not. Maybe because it's because it's covered. Nobody would spend money on it. See, the boats here are interesting because they just have little lakes and a couple rivers. Well, they got the Missouri River out here. So it's not like they're running big, big boats out here. You know, you could, you could be the man out here with a bow rider. You know what I'm saying? Let's look at some of these quads. Oop, we got a jet ski. It's just chilling down here on the rocks. Oof. Well, let's take a look at these four-wheelers. Look at this one right here. Shout out to uh, Ithwit. Oh, somebody hit. Look at this one. You can see where it's pushed back. You can see where that one's all pushed back. You can see the damage on that one right there. Woo! Oh, yeah. Steering wheel, your handlebars, steering and stuff were bent. Wonder if it fires up though. Should we check it out? I know you guys are like, do it, TK. Do it. Let's look and see what it does. <clears throat> it's got power. All right, I gotta sit you guys down for a second. Firm, and I gotta get on this damn thing, huh? Make sure it's in neutral. 
neutral. There we go. Brake. It's running, guys. Well, it runs. It runs, guys. What do you guys think about this little tracker? This little tracker 570 off-road, huh? Let me know what you guys think about that little thing. And it's not that little, but let me know what you guys think about this one in the comment section down below. Boy, they got a lot of wrecked little ATVs out here. Man. All right, I don't even know what's this one. UTVs. This one looks nice. Look at the wheels on this one. Is that is that what's up now? They doing custom rims for ATVs? Is that is that a thing? Come on, man. You gotta you gotta look you gotta look your best while you're out here doing your thing on the uh, in the uh, in the mud in the woods. Stop it. <laughs> Let's see what this one's talking about. Where's the, there it is. Oh, she's dead. Oh well. Mm. Looks kind of beefy, I ain't gonna lie. That's a beefy, beefy ass ATV right there. Turn signals and all. Uh, uh, uh. Wow. Well, let's keep it going. We got a, a 1000 RSS Yamaha side by side over here with what looks like paddle shifters. Huh. I'll be your Huckleberry. Let's see what's up. Huh. It's got doors. Oh well. Hold on one second. There we go. We got the door open. My big ass is not gonna fit in here. I can lean in here though. Let me sit y'all right here and see if we got power. Damn, the damn key is bent. Oh, she got power all right. I need to make sure your ass is in neutral though. You are in neutral, okay, cool. All right, let's see if it starts. Uh, maybe I gotta be on the brake. <clears throat> yep. It runs. You got your missile launchers down here. <laughs> Let me get gets all over here <laughs> hey it runs man wonder what it's doing here they had to roll it or do something sounds good Sounds damn good. Huh. Well. Let me know what you guys think about that one. This is not things that are my style. I'm going to be honest with you. But... If there's a lot of interest in these type of things, these are not things that I would not be opposed to buying and selling. So, hmm. Interesting. And there's a Polaris right here. 
another Polaris, another Polaris. Bunch of bunch of wrecked Polaris. I like this one. He got a skull on the shifter. That's funny. No keys on this one though. So we'll keep moving. I like this one. It's all jacked up. Look at this one. This one right here is ridiculous. Wow. Look at all these Polaris. I bet you these, and you know what? I doubt these go for a ton of money. Yeah, this one, see? It's literally just roll cage damage. You see what a roll cage got bent? That's it. That's it. And that's as difficult as either putting this on a frame machine and bending it back out, you know, or, you know, bending it back out by yourself, whether frame machine or not, or just putting another roll, unbolt the shit and put another roll cage on it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I guess the insurance companies are like, it's not worth repairing, uh, you know, recreational vehicles. That's my guess. Let's see if she has power. Oh, she does. All right. So let me tap the brake. Let me make sure she's in neutral. It's in park, so it has a park. All right, cool. Low fuel. We don't care about all that. Damn, it has a damn multimedia system in it. All right, let's see if it starts. I guess I got to hit the brake, right? Huh. Maybe that is a negative. Yep. Or maybe it just doesn't want to start. Well, it was worth a shot. It was worth a shot. It was definitely worth a shot. That's kind of cool, right? Let me know what you guys think about this, uh, Polaris Razor, I'm guessing RZR in the comments. Kind of cool, man. I, it looks like people are putting crazy money into these damn things, man. Mm. All right, guys. There's only a couple of these left out here. There's another Razor 4.0, 1000cc, one over here we'll look at in a second and then this one caught on fire i'm guessing from the engine compartment well i bet your ass was hot i bet your ass didn't know what to do mm. boy 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 ouch all of that toasty right there man all of that toasty man ouch all right let's look at this other one that's another thousand there's some carnage while you smashed all right here's another one of these razors oof see the running board pipe or whatever you would want to call that is removed or pulled out let's see if we can uh get this thing started tell me I'm in park yeah it's got to be something where it's the brake pedal I'm guessing right yeah it runs I always found it funny that it, they give you a massive oh shit handle in these. If you don't know what that is, some some cars have them installed above the passenger compartment, usually like up top. Um, like PT Cruisers had one of those too, because if I was driving in a PT Cruiser at speed, I'd be scared to death as well. But you know, when you're in a Polaris or something like this, I guess this is just to make you feel like you're part of the the death trap you're in as you whip around the woods at you know 40, 50, or 60 miles an hour. <laughs> hey man 
it's got some light front end damage it might have hit a tree or something you can see the suspension is a little bowed out down here so you got a little bit of damage up here on the suspension yeah you can see that broken see that right there where it's broke so yeah it needs some work but it's an atv it's not like you can't get there you could you could do this work on this you could fix this you could, you could make this a toy again make make toys great again you could make this toy great again and go out and enjoy yourself in it uh doesn't sound bad well let me know what you guys think about some of these atvs that we took a look at out here today you can see them all out here bunch of them out here out here at the kansas city copart if you haven't stopped by yet you definitely should sign up over at copart.com become a member you know you don't got to pay right away you can become a free member get a member number come out check out the stuff that's out here on the yard and then uh you know get get involved you know even when you're a free member i think they give you up to a thousand dollars that you could bid so you could even buy some cheap cars and stuff like that uh without having to pay a membership fee you know but you know pay the membership fee because you're going to be really sad if there's a car you really like and it goes for like 1100 and you didn't have the money to buy it you missed out on it become a member it's not expensive I and mean, if you're serious about it and it's something you're going to do on a regular basis i highly recommend it well we looked at some we looked at a truck we looked at some boats we looked at a, a couple of semis going by there and we looked at these eight beautiful atvs what do you guys think that we go look at some bikes we'll look and see if there's any new bikes out here on the block That looks different. That's a Harley Davidson. Yeah. Wonder if she's got power. She does. But will it start? Let's see. start but we got her running oh <laughs> she sure didn't want to start that's for damn sure oh yeah she didn't want to start she's running now though like a champ I wonder why this one's here I see some tape on the bag but that's it I'm not seeing, I see the intakes open. Maybe it got laid down. Yeah. You got some scraping up here. She got laid down. That's what it was. It got laid down. All right. She's 
off. <clears throat> Let's look and see if there's anything else that we haven't seen. Now, I was out here with New York early last week. <coughs> Damn it. I know you're going to be like, TK was too close to that COVID car. <laughs> he was next to that COVID car the other day. No. Let's look and see. Ooh, this is nice. It's pretty. I like this blue color. I can like it all I want, but you're dead. <laughs> all right. Well. Huh. Well, that sucks ass. Here I am thinking we got something solid going here and I'm holding all kinds of L's. Well, I know we saw this yellow one in New York. We looked at that one, that Ninja we saw. I'm looking for new bikes. We're looking for new bikes. Something that we haven't seen yet. Let's keep looking. You never know. They pop up all the time here, every week. So. Here's one. But she's dead. Damn. Little Yamaha over here. That's new. Haven't seen that before. Let's see if I can set you guys right here. Probably not. That's gonna fall, huh? Alright, let's see if we even have power on this one, shall we? Before I'm over here getting my hopes up. I'm about to set you guys on the damn ground, it looks like. Oh! Let's see. Oh, well, that brake is broken. Which means the clutch is gone. So even if I could turn you on, yeah. Nope. Nope, did he? Nope, nope, nope. Look at all those satisfied customers leaving here with brand new cars. Or like brand new cars. Hey, there goes that RT Challenger we looked at like two weeks ago. Bye bye. Off to a, way, off to a new home. Look at this. Okay, boomer. <laughs> okay, boomer. Wow. Damn it, man. All right, let's see. If this thing fires up. Oh, she got juice. All right, let me uh, put you guys up. Put you guys down. And we'll try to fire this one up. This itty bitty bike. <laughs> this itty bitty ass bike. Oh, come on. There it goes. It ain't looking good. It's not looking good. Still not looking good. And that is a wrap. <laughs> this itty bitty ass ninja, man. Oh, well, unfortunately for this bike, I think it's sticker on, its, on the bike itself. Says it best. <laughs> well, let's look and see if we see anything else new this trike is new but i think if i remember right when i came by it was dead yeah because someone left it on of course dicks all right well guys 
Uh, yes, the COVID car is still here. The COVID Cadillac is still here. It's right there. Hell no. Well, I'm really not interested. I'm not a Ninja guy. I'm not a Yamaha guy. I'm a Jixxer guy, and I'm starting to like the Cruisers. I ain't gonna lie. I am starting to like the Cruisers. But, fellas, ladies, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I think that's it. I think that's it, man. And I am up here in the front, so I gotta leave my mask on. I know you guys have seen me with my mask off, like in the back while I'm away from people, but rules are rules. Well, I was walking up on this Cadillac, and I saw bio, and I was like, wait a minute, is that the COVID, COVID Cadillac? I'm gonna stay away from the COVID Cadillac. All right. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's Copart walk around. We got to look at some uh, ATVs, some side-by-sides, some bikes, uh, a semi, a Duramax. We kind of like touched all the bases today. And you know what? I'm gonna give y'all one more bonus vehicle when we get done here, but first, I want to give a major shout out and a major thank you to New York in your city here in Kansas City uh, for the hospitality uh, while in my time while I was chilling out here in Kansas City. <laughs> yes, breaking news. I might have let it slip before, but um, we did get some property out here in Kansas and uh, we are building a house out here in Kansas. Um, but that's going to take some time. So I got other co parts to go to, other things to see. We're going to be in Houston. We're going to be in Dallas. Um, we're going to be in Oklahoma City. We're going to be in North Carolina. We're going to be all over the place. Louisiana, Atlanta. Shout out to my dude, We Hustle Daily. Shout out to Randy over at Auto Auction Rebuilds. I'm going to try to link up with as many people as possible on the way. Um, and um, yeah, man, it's time for me to wrap things up but again major shout out to the entire staff that are super i gotta say super hospitable um and were very nice to me my entire time that i was out here and major thank you to copart for allowing me to come out here and and do what i do um this has got to be one of the bigger yards that i've been on it reminds me a lot uh of lumberton there's just more cars here it's crazy cars this bike section is almost twice the size of what we getting done uh in the raleigh uh, Copart, it's crazy, you know the RVs for days, the semi truck carnage I've never seen. It's, it's ridiculous. So um, yeah, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Again, major thank you to the entire Kansas City team, and uh, let's get that bonus vehicle in. All right, guys, the bonus vehicle. You guys probably thought it was going to be something cool, <laughs> but it's only a Nissan Cube, only because. I don't really, if I'm being honest with you, I don't know much about these Nissan Cubes. Um, and this one is by being offered by Allstate. I don't see a lot of USAA cars here. Shout out to my sponsors. But uh, you can see the damage here on this one um, where the fender is all destroyed, the door is destroyed, and I'm guessing that's probably what, why it was totaled. But this thing is weird. Oh, look at the gasket. The gasket's all out. The door is all nasty and dirty. I just never seen the inside of one of these. So I've never been in a Nissan Cube. I always thought they were weird little fake hamster mobiles that were trying to copy uh, Kia with the Kia Soul. But this one doesn't look too bad. It's got some, it's pretty roomy to be honest. I wonder if she's got power. Does she start? Let's see. It is listed as a run and drive. I don't see any damn keys though. Yep. Keys are missing. Well, damn. Well, so much for a bonus vehicle. That bonus vehicle kind of sucked. That bonus vehicle sucked. Maybe we'll take a look at this Mini Cooper S. I know y'all like, fuck you, TK. <laughs> oh, let me see how bad the damage is in front. Yeah, I'm not going to start that one. Woo! Well, I don't know, man. It's like I got more. I, I got. It's like, do I go get more SD cards out of the truck? I got so much more I could film. There's just cars and cars and cars and cars and cars and cars and cars here for days.
again guys if you haven't signed up and you haven't come out here to the kansas city copart you gotta do it you gotta come out here and see all the cool stuff because there's deals man there are wins there are things that you can get um there, there's just deals to be had out here everything out here ain't a deal but there are some i can tell you right now there are some well guys i guess that is going to do it for me finally let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below thank you guys very much for tuning in since i've been out here we got some road trip videos for you guys coming soon you know we do got to hit houston up uh, i do got to hit up new orleans and then we got to go back to kakalaki baby but uh with that said let me know what you guys think and i'll catch you guys on the next one we'll be back we'll be back kansas city we'll be back